everyone and welcome to Training Tuesday for Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary and this week I have three of my Morelia to show you. We're going to start out with the training session with our oldest Morelia Bradley. His name is Benu. And while he is our oldest Bradley, he is one of our least trained. He got here as a little bit older animal and he was sent here because he was biting people and labeled as cage aggressive. And so we've been doing quite a bit of work with him and his actual target training, formal target training where we are really concentrating on that work with him hasn't been going on too long. And so during his session tonight, he actually surprised me and he did very well. And then next you're gonna see our biggest Morelia Bradley. Her name is Sunspear and she is about four years old. And I'm sure she is going to grow a little bit bigger than she is now. And then finally, we are going to finish up with one of our Inland Carpet Pythons. His name is Merlin and you've seen him before in other videos. And he's gonna do a complete training behavior for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. As always, until next time, remember to be kind, love your animals, and contact me if you have any questions. I had arranged the environment here so that Benu could come directly out of his enclosure, across his enclosure door, and into his shift tub. When I turned around to get the training equipment and his reinforcement, which was a small rat, and then turned back around, I found him climbing across this very, very, very narrow ledge in the wrong direction. So I decided I would just see if by chance he would follow the target back towards his shift tub. And to my surprise, he did because he's a very inexperienced target trained snake. Now he struck at the target one time, which was fine. That's still interaction with the target. And when I flattened the target, changed its position from vertical to horizontal, he remained at the target and I reinforced him for that. That's actually the best targeting behavior that he has ever done. Now this is Sunspear and once she got over her initial shyness after arriving here, she really blossomed. She's extremely intelligent and has turned out to be quite outgoing. As you can see here, she shifts herself out. I don't have to direct her to do anything. I don't have to use targeting behavior to get her to shift out. She shifts directly out onto a station all on her own. And we just do a real simple targeting exercise once she's already out. And that's because targeting is a very important foundation behavior that I always want to review with all of the snakes was a little bit afraid she was going to fall off of the activity stand here because she um, was right on the edge. So I just moved her over a little bit. Now this is Merlin and Merlin's a pretty experienced snake as far as target training goes. And I wanted to do a complete behavior with him, not only for his own practice and review, but also because I needed to clean out his enclosure. So he was at the right side of his enclosure as you're looking at it. And I had to get him to move across from the right side of his enclosure over to my left. And then once he did that and he was at the open door, I needed to get him to come out the door. And I needed to make sure that I got his body in a position where it could wrap around this activity station enough that most of it was out of the enclosure. Ideally, you want all of it to be out of the enclosure by the time they shift, but snakes are really long and it can be difficult to manipulate them and get their whole body into the location that you want them to be in. But he did a really good job. He shifted out and all that was left in or near his enclosure was just the very tip of his tail, which he had wrapped around the edge of his enclosure uh, door, the sliding door. And so I just moved it from that sliding door over to the activity stand, which is actually a large bird perch. And as you can see, that didn't bother him because as I said, he's very experienced with target training and he's used to me touching him and handling them. And so after he was done eating, I was too slow. Um, I wasn't quite ready to put him away yet. And he had started to explore the surrounding area and was climbing up the enclosures. So first I had to show him the target to get him to orient downward and back towards his own enclosure. And once I did that, then I moved the target 
inside the sliding door opening on the far right of his enclosure. And then I'm asking him to go through the opening on the far left of his enclosure. And I want him to move across his enclosure completely. And again, that's because I need to get his whole body off the station and back inside his enclosure. And he's long. Snakes get very long. And although they look really small and compact when they're coiled up, they're resting during the day or they're in their hide. When they're awake and active and they're all stretched out in a rectilinear position, they're really long. And it can be difficult to get their entire body in the exact position or the, exa- the exact location that you need them to be in. And I need his whole body back inside his enclosure so that I can close it up and move the activity station. And so that's what I'm doing here is I'm just using the target to prompt him and guide him, signal him to keep on moving and and continue to move across his enclosure until he gets to the other side. And he's very methodical about doing that. It's not unusual with very experienced learners that they take longer to shift back in their enclosure than to shift out. And that's because they find it reinforcing to be free and to be out. And they're not all that anxious to go back inside. It's different with beginning learners who maybe have shifted out for the first time or maybe only the second or third time. It's very exciting for them and they do the behavior, but then they go back into their enclosures really quickly because that's their safe place. But then once they're experienced and they realize that it can be actually reinforcing to be loose and to be out in the open and explore, then they're really slow to go back inside. But he did a great job as usual, and all that was left out was just the edge of his tail. And again, I just moved it inside so that I could close everything up, move the shift station, and make sure that he was secured back inside his enclosure.